Hey everybody, Mark here from Cat Cloud. Today, I wanna to talk about how to keep your espresso dialed in a rush. It's normal for espresso to fluctuate as it goes from slow to busy in a cafe. The amount of coffee your grinder doses, as well as the grind setting will change depending on how much the grinder is being used, the roast state of the coffee, and even how the temperature of the cafe is changing as it fills up with guests. All of these elements will ultimately have an effect on how your espresso is behaving. The good news is some of these changes can be predicted and by staying plugged into the parameters of your espresso, you can get ahead of any incoming shifts. As you make more and more drinks, your grinder will heat up with the increased output. As things heat up inside the grinder, you'll typically see the grind setting coarse enough, despite not making any adjustments. This is where it's super important to be plugged into the details. I can't tell you how many shifts I had in my early days as a barista where I was working the morning rush and all of a sudden I realized that my shots were pulling at 17 seconds when my recipe called for 26. The key is to stay plugged into the details and work them into your flow no matter how busy it is. Each espresso is its own beverage, and it deserves that attention. So if you know your grinder is prone to having a fluctuating dose of coffee, you should be using your scale as a point of reference. Whether this is every shot, or every third, fifth, or tenth shot, you should always be plugged into the range that your grinder is dosing in. The next thing you want to keep track of is your shot time. Whether you're grabbing the shot when the auto volumetrics stop it, or you're making espresso manually and stopping it when you visually see the volume you need, if you're not keeping an eye on the timer, there's a good chance that you're no longer in the range you wanna be at. This is where minor changes can add up over a rush and how you end up at the 17 second shot I mentioned earlier. It's a lot easier to get a coffee back in the zone if you notice a time change that is only a couple of seconds off versus being five plus seconds off from your recipe window. This lets you make a minor adjustment in the direction you need, and you can continue making coffee without having to do a full stop to make a large grind adjustment, having to purge and get back into your recipe. Keeping an eye on specific details and making small adjustments that keep your coffee on spec means that you're truly on top of the espresso you're serving and that your guest is getting the best beverage possible. It means you know where your dose is, how long your shot time is, and that each shot is bringing the best out of the coffee. Staying plugged into the details of making espresso doesn't only improve the coffee, but it also makes your job as a barista smoother and your guest days tastier. <laughs>